what we're going to do is take a look at the equation editor in Google Docs. And the equation editor is nice for, you know, if you're doing math type with, you know, subscripts, superscripts, or fractions, or square roots, or things like that. Uh, it makes, um, I guess, it's more visually appealing. Um, so suppose uh, you wanted to insert, you know, five-thirds as a fraction. Go to insert, and you'll find the equation option, and then you'll get this equation toolbar. Uh, notice you have here some Greek letters and you know, different symbols and things like that. Uh, you'll also notice down here my blinking cursor is surrounded by a blue box. That means I'm in the equation tool. So suppose we wanted a fraction. Here you can see we have a fraction A divided by B. I'd click on that and you see I get a little fraction bar and what I can do is use my left and right arrow keys to navigate from the numerator to the denominator. So I could type a 5, press to the right, and type in a 3 and now I have 5 thirds. Um, you can also do things like square roots, um, subscripts and superscripts, uh, x bar if you're finding the mean. There's a bunch of different tools here. Um, there's also some shortcuts. For instance, if you wanted to do a fraction and you didn't want to click up on these bar, you can type a backslash frac, press space, and you'd get your fraction tool. You could also do backslash bar and get a bar. So if you want to type x bar, there you go. Uh, if you're doing like a Y hat, you could type a backslash hat and then type a Y and there's your Y hat. Uh, it also works with most Greek letters. If you do backslash like alpha, you'll get an alpha and things like that. 